Now, as the Allahabad High Court has allowed the survey of the Gyan Wapi com complex, CNN News 18 has access to the Gyan Wapi order copy. And I'm joined by my colleague Ananya, who's getting us the exclusive details of this order copy as the as the decks have been cleared for the ASI survey. Ananya, please give us the details. Well, definitely, uh, uh, you know, all of the contentions and the submissions that the Muslim side have now been turned down by. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, the Allahabad High Court single judge bench headed by the Chief Justice. Uh, and I'll read down a very, very peculiar portion of this order for you that I fa also find no substance in the argument of the applicant to defendant number four, that is the Anjuman in Tazamiya Masjid, that uh, without digging any wall, uh, 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 the things cannot be finalized by the ASI in this advanced stage of time. Many new things have been developed and now uh, with the help help of new technology and able guidance of the, uh, the responsible officers of the ASI, scientific investigations can be made even without digging the particular premises of what has been stated by the court. Remember, the court has placed reliance on the affidavit that has been filed by, uh, in fact, the Archaeological Survey of India before the, the, the Allahabad High Court and very, very categorically noted that, you know, even without any kind of a digging taking place, there is there are scientific techniques that are there and, in fact, uh, if you remember, the, the, uh, the ASI had told the Allahabad High Court that it would be using GPR techniques that uh, I was also discussing in the morning with regards to what it is. Uh, the, the ground penetrating radar technique or the GPS module techniques uh, would be used by, in fact, the Archaeological Survey of India to conduct uh, a scientific investigation at this point of uh, uh, at this point of contention. And very, very categorically, all the submissions of the Muslim side have been turned down on its head by uh, the Allahabad High Court. Now, whether the Muslim side would be knocking the doors of the topmost of the country is the next question. But uh, what is also very peculiar to note is that another big argument that was continuously being made with regards to Section 75 of the C uh, CPC, that is the Code of Civil Procedure, that, you know, a scientific investigation can only be ordered, if at all, there is no kind of oral uh, evidence uh, available and the court could not reach uh, to a conclusion with the oral evidence available on record. The court has dumped that argument and said that, you know, a scientific uh, investigation can be ordered at any point of time and very, very categorically, this submission too has been dubbed down by uh, the Allahabad High Court uh, uh, single judge bench headed by the Chief Justice of the particular High Court, very, very clearly noting that uh, ASI survey is something that can be instituted, that is, that can be ordered and a uh, survey can now take place at the Gyanbaya beside Big win coming in for the Hindu petitioners in this particular case. Definitely, uh, the, the survey it will take place. But uh, the, the last uh, hurdle that remains is the topmost court of the country. Whether or not the Muslim side be approaching the Supreme Court with this case, whether there would be an urgent mentioning tomorrow morning, whether a petition would be filed, all these questions would be answered in the next few hours and uh, when we get a word from the Muslim side in this particular case. Right. Aishman. Right. Ananya, and I'm looking at this very significant statement that has been made in the judgment. In the opinion of the court, the scientific survey investigation proposed to be carried out by the commission is necessary in the interest of justice and shall benefit the plaintiffs and defendants alike and come in aid of the trial court to arrive at a just decision. This is a very essential uh, you know, statement being made by the Allahabad High Court as it pushes the ASI survey saying at the end of the day, it, the matter is very important to come to the truth of what is the reality of the entire Gyan Wapi complex. Well, definitely. And this was the operative part which was also read out by the court in the morning uh, wherein it was said that, you know, this is uh, the ASI survey is in the interest of justice. This is something that should be carried out in order to know the what is the actual truth of that particular site. And remember that the contention of the Hindu side has from the beginning been that, you know, Aurangzeb had raised the temple that was there, uh, existing there, and then created a mosque uh, uh, there. However, the Muslim side had contents, uh, continuously contested that, you know, this is a mosque that has remained in existence and I was pointing out it to you earlier, uh, uh, Aishman, as well, that, you know, GPR techniques, then the dating, uh, the modern dating techniques, which are uh, divided into two parts, that are absolute dating and relative dating techniques, uh, while the absolute dating techniques would, you know, give out the uh, actual archaeological age of a particular artifact or a particular structure that is existing there. The relative dating technique can actually give an answer to the question that has been uh, that is being asked since the very beginning, that whether it was a temple that was raised and then a mosque was built because in relative dating techniques two artifacts of uh, different sites would be compared and uh, the relative archaeological age would be judged it would be judged as to whether these uh, these artifacts belong to the same time whether these structures belong to the same time or not and then the question would be solved as to whether or not 
this was a mosque uh, uh, existing since its pre-existence or whether it was a temple which was raised and then Aurangzeb built a mosque over it. So all these questions can be answered with the Archaeological Survey of India survey. But whether or not that would be stayed by the Supreme Court is something that we'll have to wait and watch for. And uh, in fact, the Muslim side would also be analyzing this order at this particular point of time and then would be devising the legal strategy as we had spoken to uh, one of the lawyers in the morning. They had said that, you know, they'll wait for the detailed order copy to come out. They will see the reasonings that the court has given out. And now uh, when, when the order is completely out in open, then uh, we might see that some kind of a petition is filed or some, uh, you know, precautionary measure is filed before, uh, in fact, uh, the, the Supreme Supreme Court of India. However, the Hindu side in advance has already taking a precautionary measure filed a caveat before the topmost court of the country saying that if at all the Muslim side knocks the door or any other side knocks the doors of the Supreme Court, then they should also be heard before any kind of a order is passed into this particular case. So definitely all guns blazing in this particular issue which is flaring up for the last few days and now finally the Allahabad High Court too has put its stamp on an ASI survey being conducted at the Gyanvyapi site. I Absolutely. The next showdown will be in the top court of the country. Thank you, Ananya, for getting us those details. And let's get you more reports from Ground Zero.